It's a move to help survivors of domestic violence soon. They'll be able to file an order of protection anytime, day or night. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov reports, though, advocates for those survivors say it's not enough. 20 people per minute are physically abused by a partner in the United States. Most of those victims, according to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence, are women who may eventually turn to the courts for help. This week, Cook County's chief judge, Tim Evans, announced he's planning to make filing for an order of protection possible 24 hours a day. Victims advocates say it's a good step, but it's putting the cart before the horse. And there are some very pressing issues that are impacting our clients' ability to access the court system right now. Danielle Parisi Rafato is a director at Ascend Justice, a legal aid group for gender based and domestic violence victims. She says one concern is an August 16th change to the time a protective order needs to be filed for a judge to hear a victim's case that same day. Right now it's 3 p.m., it's changing to 1 p.m., meaning an increase increased number of victims may have to wait more than a day, even days, to get their emergency request before a judge. So asking someone to wait a day or a weekend is just unacceptable because it might be jeopardizing their very safety. An even bigger protective priority, allowing victims to continue attending court remotely instead of having to go back in person, also beginning August 16th. Violence recovery and, specialist um, Rita um, Shazad. A lot of times just just the idea of being face to face with the perpetrator at, at court proceedings that that stops them from taking any kind of action. She says in person court appearances also mean abusers know where to find their victims. That's a big fear because they they always have to be on the watch on the lookout and they always have this fear that OK, maybe he's going to come after me again. So is Chief Judge Evans considering making those adjustments before August 16th, as these advocates hope he will? This afternoon, his spokesperson said he'd like to get back to me next week so he can give me a thorough response. So I will follow up. Live in the Streetside studio, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Dana, our thanks.